So while its history and natural beauty are undeniable, there is also a working environment. The villages of Street, Slapton and Tor Cross are all adjacent to the Slapton line, and the local community is dependent on its existence and the ability to travel across the line on the A379. We all know the fra fragility of the Slapton line. We all recognise the increasing impact of storms. But we also know that the line is integral to our rural economy, to our way of life, to ensuring uh, access across the area. The Slapton Line Partnership Strategy Document was then updated in November 2023 with me as its interim chair. Within its recommendations, the following aspects were outlined. That the road shall continue to be maintained as a highway and cleared of shingle and debris post storms. And most importantly for me in terms of this debate, that maintenance of all sea defences and the reviewing of the shoreline management plan and, and to extend the hold the line policy across the line would be considered. Improve traffic planning and passing points on the back routes, increase car parking at both ends of the line and ensure the adaptation plan is developed. We as a group recognise that we will not indefinitely be able to protect the line and the road from ever increasing storms and sea levels. However, we do believe that we need to strengthen the line against future storms and that the maintenance of the sea defences and the review of the shoreline management plan and the intention to extend the hold the line policy across parts of the line will be the most cost effective way of keeping the road open while also minimising taxpayer cost. So my ask for the moment of the government is to help us shore up those defences so that we can avoid a lengthy cost later on. 